What's up, Collective? Welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic key as clients. Now, Collective, if this is your first time on my channel, we over here at the Karmic Circus. We find out, we investigate, we give you clarity on the karmic situations that can be going on in your life that you may not be aware of. You could be being spiritually attacked. You could be having spell work thrown at you and you don't even know. Because these are things that's going on in the underworld. We are in World War III. Okay? So take the time out to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it on your other platforms. And just to let you know, this is a general reading. This is not a personal reading. If you want a personal reading, I will be doing personal readings um, once a week. I'm trying to pitch, trying to figure out a date um, where I can do just personal readings all that day. Okay, and no regular general readings. If you would like to join my membership, the information is the join button. Okay, if you would like to purchase a throw they ass in a tent, hoodie, or t-shirt, inbox me. And I am still trying to get back my, the platform, the, um, the program that I had to do my tent. They changed it. It's some clip champ shit. And there's some new shit. This is why I haven't been able to do my graphics and stuff. I'm trying to find my original, um, the original software, if I can find it somewhere. So, okay, collect. This is Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. This is a general reading. <coughs> so please keep in mind, this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. Only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let the shit go. If I say he, it could be she. This could be an ex-lover, ex-spouse, baby mama, baby drama, baby daddy drama. This could be a neighbor. This could be a, um, your friends. This could be your co-workers. But the first card came out is a marriage. So we're going to see what's going on surrounding this marriage. So here's a marriage out here and someone is not spending time or wasting time on you when it comes to a marriage or you're not collective. You're not wasting time or spending time with someone because you feel this person is immature. I see you moving forward, working on yourself. You're moving on because this person broke your heart. Somebody is sick. So the overall energy is this marriage. This marriage doesn't look like somebody was happy in it. Okay. If you look the, at the expression on these couple's face, do they look happy? Hell no, they don't look happy. It's like they was just wasting their time. Okay. Somebody was in a marriage for, for money. Somebody is either broken hearted, getting over a broken heart, putting the knives out their back. Somebody may be broken hearted because they're sick in the hospital or you may find out that someone is in the hospital. It could be your spouse. Someone is about to receive a gift. Okay, this gift for the collection. You're about to receive the gift of stability. Some chaos and conflict over a house situation. Somebody wouldn't make a choice.
<coughs> had some conflict out here with the privileged lady. You may be privileged like me and they kicked you out of the house like they did me. There's a lot of chaos and conflict going on surrounding this house of them kicking you out. Because these people didn't make the choice, okay? They refused to. Or they're saying that they didn't have no choice. I have no choice but to put you out. You had no choice but to leave the house. But that's all lies. They know it was something they could have did. They, they know. They're scam artists. So what else is going on in this marriage? So someone is sick. Someone was trying to make the relationship go forward. Somebody is acting immature in this relationship or this marriage. And now they may be trying to offer you some money um, as a gift. Or someone could be receiving a gift of stability. Somebody could be going to jail. Or this could be a gift that somebody is trying to give you to trap you some sort of way. Okay, here's a toilet labor. Imprisonment. Somebody is expecting somebody to go to prison because they've been being false. There's a main female out here. Somebody is in despair when it comes to a child. Somebody's child may be in prison. Born in prison. Somebody is stealing something and, and leaving a situation. Here's the thief here. Here's somebody leaving and here's a house. Somebody's going to get caught. But they don't have the strength to deal with some shit. Somebody or something got cut off or somebody could have got cut. Somebody could have got cussed out. Somebody is being cut out of a great fortune. Here's a child in the middle. The child is in the middle of everything. Somebody could be expecting at home and a child. They're going to prison. Somebody false being going to prison. This four right here is somebody false going to prison and now they're in despair because they was cut off. They're in despair because they got caught doing something early in the morning to somebody's house or having to do with the house. Somebody just don't have the strength right here. Somebody got cut off and they can't handle it. Okay. False person out here is a thief out here when it comes to a house and a great fortune. Jail is out here twice. Somebody is about to be captured. Damn. In despair. Tell me more about this jail or this prison. What is the jail or prison here? Because somebody won't stop doing something. Setting wealth in reverse. Family room in reverse. So somebody may not, um, somebody is, won't stop stealing. They being false. Family not talking to them. You sitting here divine feminine thinking about the shit. You're in deep thought. <coughs> somebody didn't apologize. This person that somebody is saying they're not apologizing because they're not your main person. They're not your man. They don't need to apologize to you. All they can do is cause blockages in your life. And you don't know this. This person can't anchor you down no more. And it has something to do with the child. Somebody's child could be a snake. They pretend like they want to spend time with you, but they're really up to some, some devilish shit. Yeah. So narcissist and his son, his daughter, could be a Scorpio energy. This person wants to spend time with you or they, they say they're loyal. But this is a mask that they're wearing. This is falseness. I know you don't see a mask on, but this card to me, this is a dog. Okay? And he's saying, I want to spend time with you with the leash in his mouth. We can go where you want to go. 
But see, with this narcissist, this wealthy man on here in reverse, that's the narcissist card for me. So if this person is wanting to spend time with you, they say they're loyal, they're a snake, and they're a narcissist. And you could have already ended it with this person and they just trying to come back. They want to see you. They want to hang out. You terminated this non-existent relationship, which you have with them. You walked away. This person had multiple partners. And again, right here, in the middle of the, the energy, someone trying to snake is trying to create some sort of blockages and obstacles to keep you from getting your sudden wealth. And they ain't stopping. They won't end. Them motherfuckers. Why is this talking in reverse? What is it this person don't want to end? So they don't want it to end with you because they know they're not your main man and you may have somebody else. They don't want to end it with you. That's why the main male is in reverse. Or this could be your main man. He just may not be talking to you. He may not be apologizing to you. Why is this coughing here? Somebody don't want to stop working. They don't want to stop working on trying to create blockages in your life, and you don't you don't see this. This is a fucking Scorpio doing this, or this is a fucking Leo doing this shit. For some of y'all, not for everybody. But the Scorpio out here is a fucking snake, and he's a narcissist. I see March 3rd, March 4th, January 1st, February 1st. I see 21, 21 out here twice. Look up them numbers, angel numbers 21, 21, and angel number 18, 18. They could be significant to you. Somebody's birthday could be January 9th, January 8th. Something could have happened on the 18th. Something could have happened on the 11th. Something could have happened on the 21st, the 31st of any month. I see July 7th, July 8th. I see March 5th, January, February, and March, okay? Something may take three months. Okay, Spirit, so let me get some other cards. What else down here? What? No, I'm not 